using the quadratic formula to your advantage. So if you're asked to factor 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, we previously in the text above this video, we did that and we know that the answer is 3x minus 1 times x plus 1. And that's not that difficult to do. But I'm going to use this as an example to help get to this so that we don't have to go through the trial and error of where this negative one goes and where this positive one goes because it's an easy one and we know the answer. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula which is looks like this. If you have ax squared plus bx, this is in the video right above this one. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can go to math4.com M-A-T-H-F-O-U-R dot com to see the rest of this video. Opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. I use these colors so that I can do this. This guy is A, this guy is B, and this guy is C. Don't forget the negative piece. <coughs> Pardon me. So instead of factor, I'm going to replace this and I'm going to say solve for x if this equals zero. So this was my original problem and I'm adding this equal zero so I can make it like this. This is just a tactic to use to get to this end. So using this formula I'm gonna plug in so I need B is 2 Plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is negative 1. And you know what? These That's not 430 negative 1. It's like that. 2 times 3. So now I can do the arithmetic. Negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus... 4 times 3 is 12, minus 1, so that's plus 12. How nifty is that going to turn out? So I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16. I love problems like this. Yeah, it, look how nice the answer is. You knew that was going to happen. So negative 2 plus or minus 4 over 6. So this goes into two pieces. Negative 2 plus 4 over 6 and negative 2 minus 4 over 6. So this one is 2 over 6, which is 1 third. Ooh, maybe not so nice. Negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1. So let's take these two pseudo answers, because remember we solve for x if this equals 0. And that wasn't our original problem. This is our original problem. So we have we want to look at how this, these two, compare with these two. The factorization of this guy is always x minus each of these. So it's x minus negative 1 on this one and x minus 1 third. The thing here is, notice the 3x minus 1 and the x minus 1 third. This works. But if you split this 3 up into the front, instead, this is totally a trick. Okay? So it's equivalent, and I'll show you in another post at some point why this is the same. So I have x plus 1. The denominator goes in the front, and the numerator, the, t the bottom, goes in the front, and the top goes in the back. And notice I have these two pieces end up here and here with a negative and this piece ends up here 
with a positive. So you change the sign as the result, and look, there's your factorization. I put them in a different order, but multiplication goes back and forth, so we're good. And that's how you can use the quadratic formula to your advantage when factoring.